class is in session. Welcome back to another MCK 101 class where I teach you the kitchen basics that are going to elevate your home cooking skills. Today, we are going to learn how to make mayonnaise. Homemade mayo has a velvety texture and is one of the most luxurious things that you will ever eat. Once you make it, you will never buy it again. So get your notepads and pencils ready, because we're going to work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. Big mahalo to Rod the camera guy. Now, before we start, we need to understand what we're doing. We are making an emulsion of the protein in the egg and the fat found in oil. In order for that emulsion to happen, we need an acid. In this case, I'm using white distilled vinegar. Mustard contains a substance called lecithin, and lecithin is a great stabilizer. So we will be using a touch of Dijon. To start, we will take one egg, roughly half a teaspoon of each, vinegar and mustard, and let that spin to come together for a moment in the food processor. Next, we add the oil, very slowly at first, in a thin stream. When it just starts to thicken, you can add the oil a bit faster, but just make sure that you are giving it enough time to fully incorporate before adding more. So a thin stream works best. I like to use avocado oil for my mayonnaise, but any neutral tasting oil should work. If you use olive oil, I recommend only using about 20% total or you will have a very harsh olive oil flavor. The more oil you add, the thicker it will become. We want to make it a touch thicker because we will be adding more vinegar and salt for flavor in a minute. Once it is nice and thick, add about a half teaspoon more of vinegar and a sprinkle of salt. Blend it again and taste. If you want it tangier, add more vinegar. Add salt until you can just barely taste it. Scrape the mayonnaise into a jar and store it in the fridge. Use your mayonnaise for simple things like a delicious burger, or use it to make other things. Toss some blue cheese, mayo, a touch of buttermilk, salt and pepper together in a bowl and mix. Instant blue cheese dressing. You may need to adjust the consistency with more mayonnaise or more buttermilk. Mix one part sriracha sauce to three parts mayo and you have a great condiment for anything from french fries to chicken wings. That's the end of class for today. Take your newfound knowledge and go get creative with it. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button and click the bell. I can't thank you all enough for watching. Many mahalas and much aloha.